Hello everyone, just coming on to share with you another entry that I've received for my giveaway. This is from the lovely Ashley of Paper and Twine. And uh, I just wanted to show you the back of the parcel that she sent. Um, because it has this most beautiful washi tape on it. So you can see that. It's just gorgeous. And, um, and I think I can salvage it because it seems to come off quite easily so i should be using that on something else so um thank you ashley for that now this is the second time i've i have um filmed this and when i went looked back at the at the, foot, the footage i realized that i had something here something on the uh this side which had excuse me the address of somebody else on it so i've had to re re um refilm and so I have seen everything um, and it's not quite as it as it arrived but I'm sure that you will bear with me in that so here is the beautiful card that she sent me so this envelope um, on one of her videos she, she showed how she'd found a whole load of these pink envelopes and they're very beautiful and uh, so she stamped this image here on the front and um, this is the card that she sent me so it's got the same image on the card beautiful um, background splashes which um, part of uh, her, her trademark I think and the black edging and it says bloom and grow and she signed it here in the corner and on the back is handmade for you by paper and twine so it's beautiful so she says dear christine here here is my entry to your 400 subscriber thank you challenge i'm not very good at die cutting so i hope my efforts are okay i've left most of them for you to color in i did enjoy making the atc and it is made entirely from scraps which i'm quite evangelical about at the moment with your calming, quiet voice and interesting makes, I'm sure your channel will continue to grow. Crafty hugs, Ashley, paper and twine. <laughs> Ashley, that's very kind of you to say that. Um, and uh, I love love this card. And this is the ATC. So she's made this envelope. And uh, this is the ATC, which again is following the same theme. So there's a similar background colouring to the um to the stamp and here she's written bloom and uh, act here and here she's used as a background uh, a technique that she calls grouting and it is a technique which is very close to my heart as well it's one that i love doing which um whereby you use up strips of paper and here she has used a, a layer of uh, underneath a layer of um uh, double-sided um, sticky paper on top of a piece of card and then layered up these stripes um, and strips rather um, and we all have little off off cut strips don't we that um, we don't know what to do with and this is a great way of using them up and uh, and then in between she's used gilding flakes just to just to adhere there and to give that sort of finished look and I have to say it's beautiful. And so it's one of my favourite techniques as well. And um, so she's layered this up on black card. And th this one, very cleverly, she's given a black border with um, a Sharpie pen or something like that. And um, can I tell you about her? That This is called Use Your Scraps, one of nine, August 2021. And she says that she has an eclectic style she likes blues, greys, greens and gold and that her, and also the sea, food, wine, her cat, books, yarn and flowers. So if you don't know Ashley, I would recommend that you go over to her channel. She has a lovely channel and very interesting, very varied. And all her makes, all the things that she makes are so beautiful. She's very precise, very careful. Um, I don't know just everything just seems to go together so well and really she's very imaginative with the, the things that she uses so uh, I recommend her her channel I will leave it linked in the description box below and then here are the um, the um, die cuts that she's given me so 
This is in another handmade envelope, um, beautiful envelope, which I can reuse. And here are all the die cuts. I'll just leave this out of the way for the moment. So, so they, they are of people. So these are obviously images that you stamp and then die cut um, afterwards. So, um, so these are beautiful. So she's, she has, um, as you can see, she's coloured up this one and this one. And, um, and then there are these two as well. Then there are these, um, how do you call them, like parchment rolls with uh, a holly sprig at the bottom. So they'll be useful for Christmas projects. And then these, um, now I, I don't know if they're meant to be flowers or butterflies or what they're meant to be, but whatever they are, they're beautiful. Because I did think, well, look, I could layer them up, try and make a flower out of them. So... I think, you know, it could work quite well. So, <laughs> so I'm not sure, but I think they're meant to be butterflies. And these she has used um, uh, something sparkly on. Uh, some, uh, probably a glitter pen of sorts because it's not very raised. So they're beautiful. And that one, and then this one is just um, stamped in black and has been die cut. So, so those are the lovely, lovely die cuts, and they will be very useful, Ashley. I don't have anything like these little figures, um, so they'll be great to try and use on projects, and, uh, and I will decorate these butterflies up. Um, so that's that, but also in the package was this, and I thought, what's this? And inside here, there was another little envelope with my name on it and this lovely card with uh, a penguin and I, I saw her making these uh, on her channel um, very pretty and she said dear Christine here are your winnings from my hidden giveaway I hope you enjoy them thank you for supporting my little channel well I had no idea actually that I had won a hidden giveaway <laughs> let alone entered for one I, I really cannot recall it but so this came as a real surprise and inside are these lovely Christmas goodies. So um, there's a selection of Christmas papers here, um, possibly three by three or three by four, with this gorgeous topper here, um, glitter paper, and on top a strip of um, designer paper, both sides, and then um, this lovely trim here, which is secured with a button. I mean, that's such a lovely idea. Um, and then there's another little bag here. This time the topper has got these gingerbread people and a Merry Christmas and this little mouse. And on the back, it says Merry Little Christmas. Again, all um, tied up, with, tied up uh, mounted rather on um, this silver glitter card on black. And I have to say, I, I don't use black very often, but um, I have to say, it does make things pop, doesn't it? And um, it you know, actually uses a lot of um, black frames and things. So in this bag, there is a little tube of red glitter. There is this little bag full of beautiful micro beads in gold and turquoise and blue. Beautiful. Um, there is this packet of, it looks like white glitter and a little pack of sequins, which is absolutely gorgeous. And finally, there's another little bag here. Here she's uh, die cut a scalloped circle in the glitter card and then another circle in white card and another one in this blue um an uh, ombre effect card which she may well have made herself because I can see here there's some distressing going on uh, like the effects you get when you put distress oxide and then you put water on it so she may have blended these two together um, so this says happy holidays and I really like that font it's very nice 
and on the back it says naughty or nice <laughs> and again she's used a button and this time she's put some of this beautiful um, sparkly blue um, twine there and again it's a little packet of uh, Christmas papers which um, I'm not going to open them just yet um, so so thank you Ashley very much and as I say if you don't know her please go over and um, give her some support join her channel she's uh, she is um, very very careful and with attention to detail and I think you, you will love her projects and I've actually learned quite a bit from her little by little but she doesn't just have a, a crafting channel she does other things so so she has a virtual coffee shop and she tells us um, stories of her barista her virtual barista Barry I don't know it's just really nice to interact with her and um, yeah, so I won't say any more, just <laughs> um, go over and give her some YouTube love. That's all for now. Thank you all for watching and I'll be back very soon. Bye bye.